What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome to your daily Bitcoin update. Actually quite an important update, even though you might not think so. Um, obviously I can, I can imagine that your minds are elsewhere right now with all of the AI cryptos going absolutely crazy, but um, <clears throat> we're getting a, a, another speech from Jerome Powell today, uh, the head of the Federal Reserve. After which uh, last time around, which I am not sure when it was again, uh, but last time when the interest rate was, of course, he was uh, a little bit more dovish. So that was bullish for crypto. And today it's, uh, it's, it's a speech which will also focus on the, on the job uh, numbers we got yesterday. So we saw that the economy in the US was doing way better than expected. And in this, uh, in, in this press conference, it will also allow him, to, uh, allow him to talk about that a little bit. So here, as you can see. Uh, many view the appearance as an opportunity, and it's it's today, by the way. But I couldn't find a could not find a time, so you just have to uh, put on the Federal Reserve website and keep it on. As an opportunity for Powell to offer more clarity on where rates are headed, or clarify some comments made after last week's 25 basis point rate hike. Um, so altogether, very uh, very very important because even though we want it or not, the interest rates and the uh, and, and the economic outlook are very important for Bitcoin. So what we already saw yesterday, or Sunday actually, we already had that bearish breakout right here through 23,200, uh, which kind of went hand in hand with the dollar strength, strength index uh, still growing, which still did yesterday, but um, yesterday was one of those days where Bitcoin and the crypto markets were actually quite bullish and the dollar strength index was as well. So now it's, uh, it's it's really awaiting those uh, it's, it's really awaiting that press conference by by Jerome Powell. I mean, if he uh, if he is a little bit more hawkish, so if he does say like, all right, well the economy is doing good, uh, we can raise the interest rates a little bit more. We might actually see a move like this. We might there, there really is a possibility that we'll drop down to this level at twenty one thousand seven hundred. It could also I mean I I expect that I think it's a little bit more likely that he'll be. He'll not say too much. Uh, we have the inflation rate coming next week in seven days, really, I believe. Uh, and that's, I mean, it would be a little bit, uh, it would be a li little bit stupid, I, I would say, to really say a lot about the interest rate right now, even though we don't know the development or the most recent recent development of the inflation rate. So I think we'll just stay in this consolidation on top of this support level at twenty two thousand three hundred. I think that's more likely given everything. Uh, and then I also still expect some bullish momentum ahead of the inflation rate and later on in the week to, to be able to get above 23,250 again and to, uh, and to get into this consolidation between 23,900 and 23,200. Um, and then, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting, to be honest, I'm not expecting any big bullish breakouts or any breakouts at all, even though we could have a bearish breakout depending on the speech um, I think getting a bullish breakout is a little bit too much to ask we have a little bit too much of a technical resistance I think and um, uh, it's, it's not going to be more bullish than the interest rate speech last week so that's going to be tough bearish breakout possible but I'll keep you updated on that I'll, I'll try to I'll try to watch the speech live and to kind of update you on that also in the discord so if you're interested in that make sure to join the discord and as far as the dollar strength index goes, you can see that we're now at this uh, at this level right here, around 103.5 and 103.8. Um, I think we'll find some resistance here, but this also it's 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 stupid to say, but this really depends on the on, on the Federal Reserve speech as well. Um, this will go down if he is uh, if, if he's still dovish, that will drop down like this, and Bitcoin will go up to 24,000. Um, but we can actually, there, there's a possibility that we'll move all the way up to 104.5 and 105 is he, if, if he says like, all right, given the current economic climate, we can increase the rates, uh, the rates a little bit more. And then Bitcoin would see at least something like this, possibly even something like this. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you updated on that, but quite an important day and I felt like you needed to know that. So for, uh, for now, take care, enjoy your day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.